Welcome back to another Summer with Craft video. Thank you so much for all the support over this series. Excited to bring you a couple more videos in the series and then we'll move on to all kinds of other good things the rest of the year. Uh, but a couple really specific craft videos that I wanted to share. Some of the other content that we've talked about in this series, even though it's been about craft, has really been applicable to any note taking, uh, knowledge management type system. Today's video is specifically about craft and that is shortcuts and navigation inside of craft. Now this is one of the reasons why I love craft is because it is so fast and easy to navigate these different blocks. We talked in previous videos about the flow of craft, the hierarchy of craft and how it's block based inside of all your documents. And today I want to walk through some shortcuts with you that I think will really, really help you use craft and take advantage of all that it can offer you. I was recently on a video podcast conversation with Jeff Perry a few weeks ago. I'll link that conversation YouTube video in the description below. And I spent a little over an hour with him. Uh, we were both on our computers just walking through him setting up his craft uh, workspace. It was really fun. We had a great conversation. We got into all kinds of things. Um, if you have an hour and you want to just kind of hear some musing about craft, that's a great episode. And as we were doing it, I was really reminded about all the shortcuts that you have inside of craft. So this is what this video is about. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our space here. And the first thing I'm going to do, something I love doing with craft is making another uh, window inside of craft. So I'm going to come over here to my keyboard and I'm going to hit command shift in, right? So if you're on a Mac, which craft is only on a Mac, so you're going to hit command shift in and it's going to bring up a new window. I love using my ultra wide monitor and just putting them right beside each other using a tool like better touch tool and just slamming those right beside each other. So now I have both of these windows and I can go into um, another thing. I was working on some video editing stuff in Premiere. I can click on that video and that's going to take me inside of there. Now let's go here. I'm going to bring both of these up into summer with craft so I can work inside of them and show you some things. So this is our note that we our document that we've been working through as we're working through all the different episodes inside of craft. And today I'm going to come over here to the left side. We're on episode four craft with a keyboard. It's a perfect combo. So like I said, it has some of the best keyboard shortcuts and navigation. It's best in class. And the more you use the keyboard, the better craft becomes. So whether this is on an iPad or a phone or on your Mac, it's so, so easy. And let me just walk through some of these examples and I'll show you what I mean as I go. The first one is going to be navigating through craft. So right now I am in this block mode. So if, if I have my finger on the arrow keys. I'm going up and I'm going down and I'm in block mode. Now when I hit enter, I'm going to go into this navigation mode or edit mode. I'm not exactly sure what both of these are called, but uh, this mode is I call block navigation mode because I'm actually moving through the blocks. And then when I hit enter, it's going to um, let me in here. Now when I want to get back to that block mode, I'm going to just hit command enter, right? You're going to see enter command enter. Now, when I want to, when I hit enter, it's not going to make a new line of text until I'm inside of edit mode. Now, when I hit enter, it's going to make another line, right? Now, if I'm here in block navigation mode and I want to go to the very front of a block and not the end. So if I hit enter, that's the end. If I hit shift enter, that's going to take me to the front. So if I want to get easily to a block of text, let's say I want to come down here and I want to add something to the end of this section, move forward and backward between elements, right? If I want to put my cursor here, I just hit enter and now I can type. But if I want to move to the front of that, let's say I want to add something in front of move, I can hit shift and then enter and it's going to take me to the front. So as you're navigating through craft, you can kind of think of those two different sides. Am I typing things? Am I editing things? Or am I moving around a document? And inside of this navigation mode, there are other things that we can do. Okay, another thing. Now, it, with this in mind, we're, these are all stacking on top of each other. You can move forward and backward between pages. Now, when I am in this block navigation mode, I can hit command and left or command and right and it's going to take me back. 
So I can go into Summer with Craft. I can go into um, click on something. Like I can click back in here to episode four. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. I'm not using my mouse at all, and I'm able to get back into the hierarchy of where I was. Now, this is a great tool as you're moving inside of pages and cards and things inside of documents and inside of folders. You can move all the way in and out incredibly easy. So that's just a really quick way to get in and out of something. So if I'm here and I want to go back to this page, I don't have to click the back arrow. I can just click forward or back, or I could click the arrows. Either way, it does the exact same thing. Now, when I am in um, edit mode, if I hit command left arrow, it's going to take me to the front or back of that block, right? Just like a text editor. But if I'm in block navigation mode, it's actually going to move me in and out of those elements as I'm going forward or backwards. Another one, new window. We just did this one, command shift in, new window. So that opens up a new window. Again, really, really helpful. This also does this on the iPad instantly. And when you're on the iPad, if you hit Command Shift N for a new window, it automatically opens up two in split view together, which is just so, so cool. I use that all the time because you can drag and drop things across them. Um, now, if I want to open up a new tab, that's just Command T. So that is a new tab. Now, if I want to move between tabs, right? Let's say I want to do this and go between tabs. Um, I can hit control and tab. No, I don't want Siri. I can hit control tab and walk between these. I can also hit control shift tab to go the other way. I think this is the same command that's in um, Safari or any web browser to go between tabs. So you're hitting control plus tab. That'll walk you through those tabs. Control shift tab. When I hold both of those down, I'm going to go the other way. So right to left, left to right. Really helpful if you have a bunch of tabs open. Tabs are really easy to use in craft, and this is a great way to jump between them. Maybe you're doing some research or you're kind of copy pasting things across, or you're referencing multiple things in a meeting. That's a great way to have that up. Let's say, let's just do a real world example here. Let's say I'm going to go to my daily note and I'm going to make one today. Hello, there's my daily note. So I can switch between these. And if I want to just go forward and backwards, I'm hitting control tab, shift control tab, control tab, shift control tab, we're just going back and forth, right? Now let's talk about grouping. Let's say, let's say I made a list of things, right? Um, items to buy, and I'm gonna buy an iPhone 13, an iPad mini, a Mac mini, and some AirPods. It's going to be a good haul. Now I can go into navigation mode, right? So I'm going to hit command enter. And now I'm going to grab all these by hitting shift and dragging or clicking down with my mouse, right? With my, not with my mouse, with my arrow keys. So I'm going to hit shift, click down on those. And now I'm going to hit command plus G. Now, Command G is going to group those items. And now I have this nice little page inside of here. So if you're taking notes and you want to group things together, that's a really easy thing to do. You can click on a group of things and group them instantly. So I could select them like that, or I could grab all these and I could say, I'm gonna hold, I could hold Shift and click and then hit Command G. And now that, that's a group as well. So that's an easy way to group things. Again, if you're making lists or making content that you want to group together, super easy, super fast. Now let's talk about the forward slash. This is how you turn a block into something else using um, the forward slash, which is right here. So if you look at my keyboard, this one right here is going to get you where you want to be. Now you can be in block navigation mode. And if you're hovered over something, and you hit this and start typing, it's going to create that. Or you can be in edit mode, and at the end of something, you can also do that as well. So let's go up here to to-do list, and now it's a to-do list, right? Or I could be in block navigation mode and just hit it. It's going to pop up. 
I can type to do, now it's to do, right? And hit this, type numbered. Now I have a numbered list. You can also change the color of something. Now it's blue. Uh, you can do formatting, right? So we can do bold. We could do italics. You can add a file. So you can insert a file. It'll bring up the file picker. That's really helpful. You can also make something into a block, which is focus. So or a block kind of adds this little uh, block around something, right? Um, if we want to go to focus mode, you can kind of do this and it'll be this little, I like to use this for quotes. If I'm looking at something and wanting to add a quote, I will add this little focus mode. Using this keyboard shortcut is everything, right? This is how you do everything. You can insert the day. This is today. Now, when I put today in here, if I go to my today view, you can see that now I'm linked to this page inside of Craft with Keyboard, a perfect combo. So if I click on this, it's gonna take me to that page. Pretty, pretty cool. Again, I can hit Control Tab and go through that, but you can see now I have a link. Now I've created an association just by typing today. So let's say you're in a meeting and you're like, oh, I need to remember that, uh, you know, this project is connected to something else and you're using daily notes. Just hit today and you can go back and see all those notes. Again, craft is so smart. It's really helping you. And all that happens just by just by typing that easy peasy. Right now, another easy one is something that other apps do, which is command D is duplicate. So if I had um, some text here and I said, hello world. Now, if I want to duplicate that, I'm going to, I could either select all of it or I could get into block navigation mode, command enter, command D. There you go. Now I've, now I've duplicated that text. It's that easy. Let's talk about cards. So I'm gonna click both of these and I'm gonna hit Command Shift plus L. And that's gonna bring up all these different options on screen for cards. And so I'm gonna click a background and we'll make it fun style, font style and apply. And now we've got two cards because we selected two things. So now we can go in here and add content easy as that. Now again, I'm going to hit shift or sorry, I'm going to hit command enter and I'm going to hit command and my arrow keys and I'm going to go back right now. I'm in this navigation mode. Now I can click on a card and I can go inside of that card and I can go back again. So, so fast, right now I'm at another card. I'm going to, and then you can go in here and always change what this looks like. So I'm going to turn this part into this. That looks cool. There you go. Just like that, I changed the card. You can also make pages. Now, pages are searchable in uh, inside of your search, but they're not in your all documents folder. So if you want something that is a page and you don't want to see it in your all documents, so if I went, uh, if I went over to here and I went to all documents, these are all documents and not pages. So if I want to make a page, I can hit command shift P. You can see there's a visual way to do all this too. So you don't have to remember every single one of them. Now this is a page and I'm going to click this little button right here to add content to this page. Um, we'll, we'll call this make a page and I'll show you, I'll search for this in a minute. Um, this is a page inside of craft. Now I'm going to hit command enter. So I'm getting into edit mode. And now I'm going back. Now, if I hit Command O, which is open, I can also hit Command F if I want to find something inside of this document. So if I type to make, you can see I have two options for make a page. Now, if I hit Command O and I look for make a page, you can see here it's in pages right here. It's pretty cool. You can also look at uh, anywhere, any block that has that line or string of text inside of it. But there's the page, make a page. So if I hit that, it's going to open up this page, which is just super, super useful. So if you have something in craft that you don't need to be a document, but you want it to be searchable and you want to hold it together, you can make a page which is just containing all that information. Um, you can also always use this shortcut to create content which is uh, command option right arrow. 
So if you say, um, if you've got a big idea, right? You're, you're taking notes and you say, this is my big idea. Now I'm gonna hit, get back into our navigation mode and I'm gonna hit Command Option, right arrow. And now I can share my idea with the world. How nice. And again, I can go back, and now if I hit Command O to open and search for big idea, you can see it made a page right there. So making a page, Command Shift P or Command Option right arrow, it's the same thing. Adding content and making a page are really one and the same for all intents and purposes inside of Craft. Now let's also talk about um, and I took some screenshots here. Let's talk about moving things. So here's a good example. If I'm going to click new window, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to move down and select all of this. Now I can move it freely. Now, how do I do that? I hit command option arrow up and down. So when I have something selected in block navigation mode, command option up and down will move all of that up and down between the different blocks and I can just kind of effortlessly move it around. Now, look at that. We're gonna do new window, new tab, move between tabs, edit mode, right? Now, if I wanted to take these, and I wanted to move them down, they all come together. So as you're taking notes in craft, you think of an idea, you wanna start sorting things instead of copy pasting or cut and paste. If you ever use something like Google Docs or Pages or Microsoft Office, that's, it's really normal to just cut and paste things or to grab them, copy paste, all that kind of stuff. In craft, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is move it. So if I wanted to add something, let's say I'm down here and I added something about some info about block mode. Again, I could get back into block mode. I could grab that because it's highlighted. I could hit command and option, and I'm just gonna move it up here. And now we are good to go, right? If I wanna get rid of it, I just hit delete, and now it's gone. If I wanna undo that, command Z, right? All of your normal keyboard shortcuts work. Copy, paste, bold, italics, all that kind of stuff works. Thanks so much for watching this video and for being a part of the Summer with Craft series. I've had so much fun getting to know so many people virtually, digitally through this and having great conversations about productivity and creativity. Again, if there's anything that I can help you with, if you have any questions, please reach out, leave me a comment, shoot me an email, and uh, I will see you in the next one as we wrap up our Summer with craft series. See ya.